One of the sliders that we really like using for WordPress is Revolution Slider. We use the free version, so there's just ads in it in the admin console. When you uh, click on Resolution Slider, it will list you all of your different sliders here. You can have several sliders. You can even import some. Um, so for this example, um, there's two slides here. This one has one slide. This one has five. Um, so this is the one for the home page. You click on edit. It will bring you the slide for that slider. And it has a lot of options. You can enter text right there. You can um, um, have some slides that are active or inactive. So for example, this slide here is inactive because it has a little red line across. If you change that and you put the little check mark that is super slow to load, when you click on it, then um, it will activate that slide. So the first three here are active because it has the red check mark and uh, the green check mark. And this one uh, didn't actually work this time, but I don't want to do it because my computer is too slow. You click on it and it will activate it. Um, once you add a slide, so let's say we look at number four here, which is just a blank slide. You have several options. You can have a, uh, um, a main background image, external links. So these will be a uh, link to external uh, images. You can have a transparent background with some text. So you can do some pretty neat thing with, uh, with this background. Um, I'm trying to scroll down with this massively slow internet connection. Uh, you can link to YouTube videos, Vimeos, HTML5, so it's really, really flexible. Uh, so in general, it's going to be images. So when you click on background image, there's two two buttons here. Media library is for some images that this software already offers. It's a very small library, not a lot of options. Media library brings you to the WordPress media library, where you have the option to upload something or you have the option to look through your media file and select one of the images from your existing media file to add to the slider. Once this is done, your slide will be here and don't forget to activate it. Oh wait, do you have to save it too? Yeah, once, it's, <laughs> once you've made the changes, there's a green button here to save the slide.